Welcome to the Professor English Podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice the words conceivable and inconceivable. The word conceivable means easy to imagine or believe, and the word inconceivable means impossible to imagine, impossible to believe. We are going to practice this word just as it is used on page 5 of 1984. It was even conceivable that the TV was watching everything you do. We're learning some fantastic English today. Let's take a look at our next word, conceivable. Conceivable means easy to imagine or easy to understand why someone would think of it. And we have the opposite, inconceivable, which means difficult to imagine. Someone would never think of this idea. Let's practice using it. Here's a situation. John hates spinach. Just repeat this sentence. He has tried frying it. He has tried frying it. How would you make a basic yes-no question with that sentence? Has he tried frying it? Frying it has he tried has he has he has he has he tried has he tried frying it frying it frying it has he tried frying it this question is like a suggestion maybe you think frying it will make it more delicious now let's answer with this phrase he has tried frying it he has tried every way to eat spinach he has tried every way to eat spinach. He's tried every way. He's tried every way to eat spinach. Okay, now we can add the word conceivable, and this will mean every way that you can think of, every way that you can imagine. Maybe it even means don't give me suggestions. We've tried everything. He has tried every conceivable way to eat spinach. He's tried every way you can think of. He's tried every conceivable way to eat spinach. He's tried every way that you can imagine to eat spinach. Frying it, in salads, baking it, anything you can imagine. He's tried every conceivable way to eat spinach. He's tried every way to he's tried every conceivable way to eat spinach, but he still doesn't like it. He's tried every conceivable way to to eat spinach, but he still doesn't like it. Okay, now let's say that you love spinach and it's very difficult for you to imagine that a person exists who doesn't love spinach. You can say, it is inconceivable that he doesn't like spinach. Okay, and you want to say it is inconceivable to me because it's your opinion. <laughs> and, and maybe other people can imagine that, that someone couldn't like spinach. So you have to say, to me. In my opinion, it's inconceivable to me that he doesn't like spinach. I can't believe it. I just can't imagine it. I can't think about it. It is inconceivable to me that he doesn't like spinach. All right, you're doing a great job. Let's try another example. Here is a new situation. Mary is not happy with her roommate. She thinks he is inconsiderate. Let's start with a sentence. She has tried talking to him. She has tried talking to him. How would you make a yes, no question with that sentence? She has tried talking to him. Has she? Has she? Has she tried? Has she tried? Has she tried? Has she tried talking to him? Has she tried talking to him? Let's answer with she has tried everything. She has tried everything to fix this situation. Can you repeat that? She has tried everything to fix this situation. She's tried everything. She has tried everything. She's tried everything to fix this situation. She's tried everything to fix this situation. Okay, now we can use the word conceivable between the word every and the word thing. She has tried every conceivable thing to fix this situation. That's three words, every conceivable 
thing. She's tried every conceivable thing to fix this situation. Now we have changed the meaning from the boring, she has tried everything to, she has tried everything you can imagine. She has tried everything that you can think of. She's tried every conceivable thing to fix this situation. No one can think of a solution to this problem. No one can imagine the solution. She's tried every conceivable thing to fix this situation. Now let's say that you like both Mary and her roommate, and it is impossible for you to imagine that they can't be friendly with each other. They both seem so friendly to you. Uh, then you can say, it is inconceivable to me, in my opinion, it is inconceivable to me that they don't get along. Get along. Get along. It is inconceivable to me that they don't get along. And this means it's difficult for me to imagine a situation where they would be unfriendly to each other. I cannot imagine them fighting. It doesn't seem possible. It is inconceivable to me that they don't get along. All right, super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to ask you, do you find these exercises useful? If you do, then please take the time to subscribe to my channel. And if you are watching the podcast on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class, then please take a moment to press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more exercises just like this one. Now, let's get back to practicing some English. Here is a new situation. Mike cannot pay his rent this month. Oh, that's bad. Mike cannot pay his rent this month. Now, just repeat this sentence. He has asked his friends for help. He has asked his friends for help. Asked his. Ask tis. He has asked his friends for help. Asked his. Ask tis. He has asked his friends for help. Basic question. How will you make a yes-no question with that sentence? Has he? Has he asked his friends for help? Has he? Has he? Has he? Asked his? Asked his? Has he asked his? Has he asked his? Has he asked his friends for help? Has he asked his friends for help? Has he asked his friends for help? Let's answer with, he has tried everything. He has tried everything. He's tried everything. He's tried everything. Now let's add conceivable between every and thing, and this will change the meaning. It becomes more interesting because now you're saying there's no action that you can think of that he didn't try. You can't imagine a, a thing that he didn't try to fix this problem. He has tried every conceivable thing to get money. He has tried every conceivable thing to get money. He's tried every conceivable thing to get money. He's tried every conceivable thing to, to, to get money. Okay. Now let's say you are disappointed in John. You cannot believe that he is this irresponsible. You know he makes enough money. There is no good reason why he shouldn't have the rent money. You can say, it is inconceivable to me, it's inconceivable to me that John cannot pay his rent. It's inconceivable to me. It's inconceivable to me that John can't pay his rent. All right, super duper job. Now, let's revisit the phrase from page five of 1984, where this word is used. It was even conceivable that they watched everybody all of the time. It was possible. You could imagine it. It could be true that they watched everybody all the time. The words conceivable and inconceivable should be more understandable to you now, I hope. <laughs> 
It's been a real blast practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you here again soon. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be back here again any day now with more fun and interesting phrases for you to learn. But until then, goodbye.